What's up guys, Tony back here with another Home Sweet Home video. We're just going to be talking about the, the patch notes and the game balancing and all the stuff they added. Not the skins, um, I'm not really a big go over the skins type of guy, more about the, the mechanics and everything that's being adjusted with the game. But make sure if you guys do like this video, you leave a like, you leave a sub, turn on those post notifications to be notified whenever I do another Home Sweet Home video. Now let's get into the video. Alright, so so as the game, before the game even starts, I know it's a prisoner, because I could hear his fucking stupid ass chains under me, but that's not even the point. Now, the things they added in, what the hell is going on over there? I don't know what the hell that was, something's going on over there, but the things they added in, they fixed uh, Chinese translations, they fixed the, the cancel animations, and I feel like that's, that's honestly one of the biggest things here. I felt it was very stupid, a lot of other people felt it was very stupid. Oh, what's up? I, all right, I don't, I, I don't know what he's doing, um, but I feel like that was like one of the one things that didn't make any sense to me was when they were like threatening to ban people and stuff for for exploiting, and a lot of people were just like, "Yo, just fix the game." You know, this game's early access. This game's you know just new. It's fresh. You know, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be trying to ban people for like you know things that are going to be in the game. But I, I understood it. You know, uh, even though that they're they're in the game and they shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be abusing them, you know? So I feel it. Wait, can I chat? I cannot chat still. All right, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I cannot chat for some reason, but whatever. But missed that G. You can't be missing that G. That's some holy water. All right, well, he's off of me. Well, <laughs> back to the changes. Um. So they fixed the uh, the fall damage uh, animation cancel and not taking any damage there. They fixed the portals. Well, they changed the portals, which is changing the time on them. So you can't just do the infinite from portal to portal um, over and over again. They also fixed the swing animation cancel when you're coming out of the elevator. All of these so far, amazing. Literally all amazing. Like that's like the first thing on the list. And that's literally amazing. Like um, I feel like a lot of these like wasn't make it a lot of people didn't want to play specter because like of all the the exploits and stuff that that survivors were using against them and that just led to what longer queue times for us um unfair for people who are new trying to trying to get to know the game and play some specter um just 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 a bunch of stuff so that right there is already just a big step and it fixed a bug with the greedy pots number when you're opening. I did a big like 200 plus greedy pot uh, opening, and every time I kept spamming one, it would go to five. So that's that's I don't do many greedy pot openings. I'm not one of those those big big time um, money streamers or anything. But uh, but yeah, I mean still 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 pretty pog. So I don't you know get a couple greedy pots wasted. I need every single greedy pot I can get. Right. Now they said they fixed the. Uh, the bell being stuck in the under the swamp but i had a uh, numerous people i was streaming earlier and i had numerous people tell me that that wasn't true so uh, i'm excited to play some specter later and see you know how true that really is with them fixing the the the, the bell being stuck under the map because that that shit let me tell you that shit is fucking annoying and sometimes that shit costs me the game it's on me that was an amazing pool not gonna lie that was a pretty amazing pool. I know he sees me. So we're gonna put this here so he can't he can't just rotate freely. He knows what I'm trying to do. I know he knows. He has a halo, he knows. Alright, so that's that's uh that's what? One ritual done so far? Okay. We got teammates actually out here teammating. Now to skim through these so we don't read every single one, you know, the ones that aren't that important. Another big important one was uh them fixing the item duping. And once again, literally game breaking shouldn't have been in the game in the first place and definitely should not been abused that shit is pretty pretty huge you're not gonna lie so that's a big that's a big plus that they uh they just completely got that out the game it's just no longer a thing you just you just can't do it so uh nobody has to get banned you know uh shitty people who want to abuse this stuff they you know they can abuse it because no longer in the game love to see it now they said they fixed some collision um on uncertain maps and apparently like certain doors and stuff if you have stuff open a certain way on certain doors or certain maps and stuff it still causes that collision i don't know it's very very weird and and it really does not make a lot of sense to me you know i'm not a game developer or anything so a lot of shit doesn't make a lot of sense to me so but 
it's still I can confirm in my stream earlier everybody who was watching it can also confirm that they did not they might have fixed some collisions but there's still a bunch of them especially on hospital and especially on swamp still now another big game balance and change he did was adjusting the time on this from 15 seconds to 25 seconds and that kind of really fucking sucks I mean now the pots aren't as strong as they used to be uh, some killers wouldn't even chase you over at the pots which is a smart decision in my opinion for killers to do but um it, it kind of sucks because like you know when the game's new and you're learning it you're learning like a bunch of different strats a bunch of different like little things that you could do to finesse the specter um there's stuff like um the pots you know you could take that one of this loop this around like three to four times just go on, especially if you have a character with a lot of stamina, you can just loop this and, and go and go and go and then have enough time to get back in the pot and get a little bit of distance off the killer. You can't do that anymore from it going from 15 seconds to 25 seconds. By the time you loop that that many times, you're going to lose all your stamina, which really, really fucking sucks. I mean, it, it's like, is it balanced or, you know, once you use that pot over there, unless you use the door and they break the... And they break the little hole over there. Is that just, you know, is that just killers uh, getting a free hit? And I feel like that's what they gotta they gotta make sure they watch. Is it actually game balancing, or is it killer side in the game? You know, I don't know. That's just my take on it. Cause like a lot of these changes in these game balancing things, they're mostly aimed at survivor. And some people think that's because the game right now was more survivor sided. And honestly, I still don't feel like the game was super survivor sided i feel like a good killer of, against a good four man i don't care on discord comms um four man jane squad four four man yuri squad a good killer can can kill him it's happened to me numerous times with my squad and you know a good killer who knows how to use their power could could still prevail you know but i feel like what they're doing and i hope they don't you know is just cater to like the fucking the the babies of the game. I mean, the the game's supposed to be cool for new players and stuff like that. But like when you're just you know you're not even promote get good at the game anymore. You're just like all right, these survivors put in the time and they put in the effort to getting good at the game, and we're just gonna nerf them. You know what I mean? Like just do the they they should just be doing the same thing on killer. I feel like killer shouldn't be. A thing that you you just hop on and you're just you're just good at you know I feel like it should it should be one of those things that takes a little bit of time to get used to takes a bit of you know learning all the little tips and tricks to it before you're able to consistently get 3k's 4k's and all that stuff I don't know that's just my opinion on the whole thing I just really hope they don't turn this into a DVD situation where it's just uh, killer sided survivor sided type of type of game I hope they just really do a good job of actually balancing you know still haven't did anything about prisoner being able to shoot you directly out of his face no type of cooldown or nothing just in phase and then he's able to shoot it's literally using like two of his powers like back after back no cooldown I don't think that's very fair in my opinion but that's just me but yeah they also what adjusted the item rate of the chest discovery so the chest take longer to reset now and then they did the big the big really really big thing they did that nerfed a lot of people was the cooldown on characters unique perk item will be reset when picking up a new item that shit is huge and for you you guys who don't know what that mean i mean yuri if you're yuri and you have your camera right you could be able that scared the hell out of me not gonna lie oh, there goes my sturdy though but that scared the hell out of me. Not even going to lie to y'all. But yeah, say you're a Yuri and you have your camera. You know, you, you got your camera and you want to pick up an energy drink. So you're in chase. You want to use that energy drink and then immediately use your camera right after. You can't do that no more. If you pick up that energy drink, it's going to start your uh, your your whole countdown again. And I, it, it, goes for, it goes for Oaf. I'm sorry. I'm probably pr pronouncing that wrong. Y'all know the guy I'm talking about with the fist. Um, that also goes for Tim. It goes for anybody with a, a unique perk that needs a certain countdown before they can get it. That really nerfed a lot of them. You just keep missing, buddy. You just keep missing. But that really nerfed a lot of them. And now I'm, I have no desire to play any of them. Not going to lie. Like, I'm probably going to stick with, like, Jane, um, Uncle Pei, 
and like, hey, buddy, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna make it out of this. So to be honest with you, G, I don't think we're making it out of this. But I don't know. I don't. It's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of whack. I'm gonna be honest. And it's shit like that. I feel like someone can say, somebody can say the game's like trying to be, trying to be more killer sided because of that. Cause like, why would you, why would you do that? You know, why would you, why would you put a cooldown? I, I don't feel like everybody was that OP. Like they could have did a, a character specific type cooldown, like Yuri and her camera maybe. Cause I don't know for you guys who did play Spectre, that shit was annoying as hell. Having like four Yuri's just constantly spamming you with cameras and stuff. I do understand that side of it, but to nerf every single person, like the guy, oh, people don't even play that dude, man. People don't even play him. And now, now I'm really not, I'm personally not going to play him at all. Like, you know, unless I'm just doing it for a video. This dude has missed so many, by the way, so freaking many. But yeah, just, just other things he did, you know, when you're getting a duplicate item, um, now in the greedy pot, it tells you what duplicate item that you actually got, which is, uh, which is pretty, pretty nice just to know, you know, just to know they're not just saying they're giving you a duplicate item and it's really not, uh, it's really not a duplicate item. You, you, I don't know if you would think they're lying about it or something. You think the system's like bugged out. Now it tells you what specific item you got and why you're getting that, uh, amulet. Then they also added key bonds for movement controls and survivor ping. Spectre, chat box team, chat box all, and stuff like that. I mean, honestly, a big ass, a, a pretty, pretty nice patch. I'm gonna be honest with you. A pretty, pretty nice patch. I don't know. I just hope, really, really, really hope that they, they really still aim to make this game, uh, I hope they really still aim to make this killer, th th this game, um, you know, a good mix of both. Okay, we're, we're, we're down two people right now. He's probably going to get his hook back right now. So we're going to have to do something about that. Go ahead and go here. I'm going to get shot. He missed. Let's go. He missed. He missed. Let's go. You love to see that. You absolutely love to see that. Get some holy water being stored right here next to the pot. I don't know if that's a strat or, or what, but I don't know. We, I feel like we could do this. He's right there. I see a shadow. Very good move. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now, all I have to do here is survive one of his hooks, and I should be able to make a play actually gonna be going around that way very good move on his side this is a good killer man this is a good killer it's a, it's a very very good killer ah, I got stuck on the door unfortunate 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 that was a good game man that was a good killer very 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 nice to go against good killers like that now, if you guys did like the video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a sub. Turn on those post notifications to be notified for all future content. We are like less than 100 away from 2K on YouTube, which is absolutely nuts. Make sure you guys show some love. Uh, until next time, I'm Tony, and I'm out.